Hey, we we gonna watch. We let's listen to a different stroke. Yeah. Let's yes. Do it. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> let's get to it. Well, this first clip is um, Mr. Horton, who is the bike shop owner, uh-huh. Dudley and Arnold. They're all hanging out at the bike the bike shop, and Dirty, uh, they man. start uh, drinking wine. What a good job! Drinking if you're a wine. Yeah. Oh, really? The bike oh, shop. Man. What a sniffing bike. their seats right when they ride right. in. Hey, I got a great idea. Why don't I be the, the lion? And oh. that you take. Yeah, they're playing games, by the way. I forgot, they, this. I the, forgot uh, this. Every movie and TV pedo always has a little game that they play yeah, that so. gets them into the situation they need to be in. <laughs> and for some reason, I can't remember, but for some reason, Dudley was shirtless during during this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold was fully clothed, but Dudley was shirtless during oh, this. Whore. You should play hide the eel in the cave. Oh, Uncle Paul. Like play kiss the eel. Like you give him a kiss and he spits on you. Give the eel a kiss. I creep. Yeah, take your shite off. Shitty shite. <laughs> where's, where's he from? That's Uncle Paul. Yeah, I'm from all over. <laughs> Paul Hargis. I guess. And the U is silent, by the way. H A R G I silent U S. I got a great idea. Why don't I be the, the lion and that you take the pictures, Lionel, okay? Okay, by me. You know how to operate that thing around? Oh, yeah, sure. We have one of these at home, only more expensive. <laughs> I guess I'm the first semi ball king of the jungle. All right, why don't you hop on my back here? Yeah. Ah! And I'll, uh, I'll pretend like I'm uh, going to try and throw you there. So basically, Mr. Horton oh, is on. God. He's on all fours, like you know, like. Of course like, he is. Like a lion. And, and a shirtless Dudley is now on his. Back. Of course he is. Yeah. Oh, well, why don't while, you get on? While Arnold is taking pictures. It's a of great game. <laughs> Arnold's taking pictures. I'm sorry, I don't have a tail for you to hang on to. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. You can just wag you behind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. The old roar. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Say, man, we're going to have to protect ourselves here in the jungle. I mean, we don't want to be uh, bitten by the terrible titsy fly now, do we, huh? Maybe we should have a, a little more wine. No, thanks. I'd rather get bitten on the titsy. Oh. Well, I know my friend Dudley's not going to let me down. Huh? Sure, I have some more. You going to be a chicken, Arnold? Well, okay. I'll have just one sip. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay, fellas, here we go, huh? <laughs> what do you say? School. Bottoms up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bottoms up, uh, literally. <laughs> Ooh. He is quite a creep. <laughs> yeah, play the lion game, he roars. <laughs> oh, 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 he's got a fucking boner. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, you know he's just got a boner. He's fucking making little little pre comesies into his older oh, gentleman slacks. His pushing. twitching rod is moving his pubic fat. <laughs> he's pushing his pleats out on his dockers. Yeah. His fatty pubis is sweating with anticipation. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little Dudley. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dudley's little... Little cultish legs are gripping his fat older man's sides, <laughs> holding on to the lion. He could probably feel the sweat through fucking Mr. <laughs> Mr. Horton's sweater shirt. Of course. He's sweating. Of course he is. Oh, just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> just rolls over and starts licking his cheek like a lion cub. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Need some protection. But wine will do it. Well, this next clip is uh, the one that you guys were talking about before where they start watching uh, the tape in the VCR. Ah. Okay, guys, here it is. It's a show time and a pie time. Mm-hmm. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Curly's Cartoon Cavalcade. <laughs> oh, and away we go. Man, I love cartoons. Me too. <laughs> I bet you guys haven't seen Murphy the Mouse. <laughs> no. <Huh>. No. <laughs> Murphy the Mouse goes in his <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Ah, that little you shirtless gotta... hussy. Yeah. Why is he putting a piece of cheese on his cock? <laughs> That's Murphy the Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a, what a creep! How does he get? Um, does he get a piece of Dudley? 
<laughs> but they don't seem that horrified by it. They're like, "Wow, no, neato." They're kind of they're kind of <laughs> fine with this. This shows the children to just uh, buck up. <laughs> well, they, they take they, it, they take it, suck up. They teach you at the end, like that's when the big lesson comes about like ah. what to do and everything. But we still have a couple more tracks. Oh, thank God. Uh, yeah. This next part is uh, Arnold decides that he's too uncomfortable, so he's going to leave. But then this is when uh, Arn uh, Mr. Horton suggests that perhaps. He and Dudley play a game that happens to take place in the bathroom. Oh. Dudley, this is an X-rated cartoon. It's dirty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Arnold, it's not dirty. It's adult. And, and, and we are all adults, aren't we? We only look adult because we worry a lot. <laughs> so, worry. I want to see how that mouse makes out. I don't like this cartoon, but I have nothing against this pot. <laughs> Stick around. No, Dudley, look, if Arnold wants to go, then that's what he should do. I'm warning you, Dudley. If the Musketeers hear about this, you'll have to turn in your ears. <laughs> Listen, Dudley, don't worry about Arnold. We can have a lot more fun without him. Uh. Huh? After the cartoon's over, uh, we'll play Neptune, King of the Sea. How do you play that? Oh, you know, it takes a lot of water, the bathtub, a bathtub, a shower. But, oh, it's a, a great game. You're going to love it. <laughs> wow. wow. Shower. Wow, it's a fun game. Yeah. What else are you going to play Neptune? A bathtub, uh, you know, the shower. Oh, there's more. Hope so. Oh, yeah. It's a great oh. game. Oh. In fact, they got the cock blocker left. <laughs> yeah, really? They got all wet, all fucking stick in the mud went home <laughs> to fucking give heroin to his sister so she could hang herself. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here's a handgun, older brother. <laughs> yeah. To rob a convenience store <laughs> while my friend is getting finger popped by a fucking radio station program director. <laughs> 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 Oh, what's our next scene? Well, in the space in the space between the clip that we just heard and the clip we're about to hear, um, Mr. Drummond gets wise to what's happening over at the no bike shop. No way! How yeah. does he get wise to it? Um, because Dudley's father had smelt wine on his breath, and when he was confronted about where he had the wine, he pointed. He said, "Oh, he got some at Mr. Drummond's house." Oh, he so he went to protect, Drummond's house. Yeah, he was house. protecting Mr. Horton. Ratted by Drummond Mr. out. Drummond, so. And Mr. Drummond's like, I would never give him wine. Exactly, right. Uh -huh. So then they, they called the police, and then, um, just like in real life, you would head over there with the police to go investigate well, of the course. situation. So this is how that went down. Dudley, are you okay? Oh, Mr. Drummond, I'm not glad to see you. Boy, I sure feel goofy. Did Mr. Horton give you anything, Dudley? A pill. He said it would make me feel good. Dudley? Uh -huh. Are you all right? Yeah, I guess no, so. No, man. I'm yeah. pretty fucking <laughs> far scared. from all right. Dudley. Put your shirt on, you little fruit. Stop <laughs> gallivanting in the tub. Your chores aren't done. <laughs> I want you to tell me exactly what happened before we came in. Uh -oh. Do I have to? Go ahead. It's all right. Now, Dudley, you can tell everything to Detective Simpson because he's here to help us. Mr. Drummond's got his dick out. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me too, Dud. Don't leave anything out. <laughs> he's fucking uh, Dudley's father with those big dumb teeth. Remember Dudley's buck tooth father? Too bad Mr. Horton wasn't a dentist. He could have fucked the kid and fixed the dad's teeth. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> hey, could, Mr. Horton, could you put me in the basket of your bike and then drop me off at the fucking at the tooth fairy's office so I can get these fucking giant Hillary choppers fixed? I'll let you massage marmalade in my son's back for a little while if you fix my toothuses. <laughs> well, at first, Dad, I was having a lot of fun. Yeah, I bet. Mr. Horton, he tried to, he tried to touch me. <gasps> it's not your fault, son. Yes, it is. Oh, and sure. I don't blame you. It's God's fault for giving you a body that only can resist. <laughs> I love you. I love, I love you, even though you're a fruit now. <laughs> that's what Mr. Horton said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Now we'll go home and play Neptune, Dudley. <laughs> yeah, you ever play Neptune? <laughs> But he seemed completely game for it. He loved the X-rated cartoon. Yeah. He's like, bring on the wine. More wine, more fucking X-rated cartoons. He's uh, up for the playing Neptune and, and he, shit. He was he, into Willis. What's his name? Arnold leaving. Get yeah. the fuck Arnold out fucking of here. hit the bricks. Our anus. Yeah. You are never to blame. Arnold playing, Arnold playing kick the can with his oh, bad liver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> our anus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was wrong with him, too, right? He was like an adult, but small. Yeah, he yeah, was like right. kidney problems. Arnold was 36 like during this episode. <laughs> <laughs> he actually... <laughs> You are never to blame. Does he get caught? I'm. Uh, I completely forgot how this episode uh, ends. No, he went back to WKRP. Is that it? Yeah, Johnny uh, uh, Fever had better pictures of Dudley <laughs> hanging his wall. Johnny Fever. Under, he changed his name to Mark Parento and worked at that station for a while. <laughs> oh, oh, come shit. on, we all know uh, he liked uh, the PlayStations and the Young Black Boys. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So wow, there's still one more though. This is oh, the, yeah. the this is the part now because obviously Mr. Horton has now been busted. Oh boy. And uh, the cop, that what uh, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you take a seat over there by the bicycle? And now we all we all get to be educated about molesters and and you know what oh, to look for, all right? And all that good stuff. You know, some parents actually blame the children for what happened. No. That is dreadful. That is the worst thing you could do. What's going to happen to Mr. Horton? Well. I think we got a darn good case against him, Willis. Thanks to your father calling us, we were able to surprise him, and we found some very incriminating pictures. That old pictures. ain't my father. Worse than the mice? <laughs> <laughs> Much worse. What is this world coming to? <laughs> See, Detective Simpson said it was a good thing we called him, because if I'd gone down and confronted Horton by myself... He would have been able to get rid of all the photographs before the police could even ah. get there. Unfortunately, most parents do just that, and the guy gets off scot-free. I just can't get over this. We've known Mr. Horton for a year. He seemed like such a nice man. Now, that's the contradiction yeah. with child molest. <laughs> that's the contradiction. <laughs> yeah. And she's fucking taking a pill. Or of course they're whatever. nice, you idiot. They're trying to get into a kid's pants. <laughs> <laughs> and what they have to be nice. <laughs> you can't be... Can't be an asshole pedophile. Yeah. Here's Mr. Horton. Try the wine. <laughs> I'm pleased you appreciate good wine. <laughs> did, did Mr. Drummond ring the bell at Mr. Horton's house? <laughs> Police. Try the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Horton rules. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Horton. Uh, Mr. Horton. Police. You gotta come out here. No, <laughs> my health doesn't allow it. <laughs> well, oh, sorry. Young Dudley's nipples. Mm. Try Horton. the wine. <laughs> By the way, I think at this point Dudley's still shirtless. He's been shirtless the entire uh, episode. whole episode. <laughs> I love the fact that Mr. Horton gave him wine and a pill. Jesus. Right. Yeah, How much coaxing does this kid need? <laughs> Hand him in television. It's like 1981. Get his shirt off before he even entered the bike shop. <laughs> yeah. It's just hot out. <laughs> Fucking kid thinks he's Tracy Morgan. <laughs> 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 Now, that's the contradiction with child molesters. Yeah. In their own strange way, they actually love children. The majority of them would never intentionally harm a child. Oh, the nice sad people. part is, they can emotionally scar a child for life. Man, I never would have guessed that Mr. Horton was, you know, gay. Well, he's not, Willis. You know, that's oh. the common fallacy about child molesters. Fallacy. They're not gay. They're only interested in They're little fags. boys or little girls, Wait a not second. adults. Wait a second. So if you if you suck a little boy dick, you're not gay? Not oh. gay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Apparently not. That's what Mr. Drummond says. So you're, so that you're not gay. It depends on the size of the cock. Is this Mr. Drummond <laughs> yes. talking? I don't know. No, no, I think uh, this is the police, the police the detective. This well, is clear up all little... misconceptions with the audience. Uh, uh, ex exactly. This is don't go out and beat up homosexuals because they are not doing this. But I didn't know he was gay. You know, gay. Well, well he's not gay. The penis didn't have hair on it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. See, that's what makes gayness <laughs> is hair on the. Balls and dick. There's nothing gay about running a young hairless penis under your gums like it's a pinch of skull. <laughs> as long as that scrotum looks like a nice tight clamshell. Jesus. Mr. fucking Horton really shook things up, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he sure did. What happened to his bike shop? Closed down. I know. Uh, it's a big boarded up thing. Yeah, close Sorry. renovations. <laughs> so fucking... <laughs> Is there more of this? No, Doesn't Mr. Carlson uh, talk at the that end? Was it? No, that was the end of the episode. Oh. Wow! Actually. So as long as the dick looks like a, like a, uh, an Audi belly button, you can right. suck it without. Right, then you're fine. Like... <laughs> okay, good. I think they're saying that pedophiles a lot of times target boys and girls. They don't care. A little uh, cocktail, Frank. God. It. Dipped in. Then you're fine. Just awful ketchup. <laughs> How awful! <laughs> 
That's what was so annoying about those shows is you sort of like, you know, you liked it was your favorite sitcom or whatever. You liked to laugh. And then all of a sudden they'd throw you for a loop and some yeah. kind of like preachy, serious thing. Yeah. Like, the, oh, the, the first season of a lot of these shows did make people laugh. And then after that, they had to go, all right, let's um, let's bring in a little serious drama to this. Well, all the family used to do that. They they actually all pulled socially it, pulled it off. They but that all was a, did. That was socially. Maybe that's why they probably started doing that shit because shows like that came out. Well, yeah, it's all in the family. It was probably embarrassing to do the garbage that sitcoms are doing after you looked at what that show did. Yeah. But they all tried to do it. They all had the uh, special episodes. The worst were Good Times because that was just Every... horrible special episodes. Every single one was just, <gasps> James, what are we going to do about JJ? <laughs> There's JJ, you know, drinking, getting all drunk. He comes in. You look like Thelma with that thing on your head. Yeah, I got, I got the <laughs> Thelma look with my... My my uh, chapeau. Funny <laughs> fucking <laughs> Janet Jackson walks in wearing Wallona's iron as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still yeah. plugged in. <laughs> she was abused, and that's why she's living with Wallona. Yeah, because uh, she she was an abused child. She's coming with a big black eye. Yeah, right. And then Buffalo butts deep dicking her <laughs> right in the yeah. dumpster. Buffalo, giving her yeah. the old deep dicking. <laughs> fucking I'm the superintendent. Uh, yeah, fucking oh, Mr. Yeah. B- Bookman. <laughs> Bookman, right. yeah. Yeah, what about gay Michael? And then the uh, the, the the husband died. Yeah. Then she remarried a guy, and then they had to move to Arizona because he wound up getting lung cancer, and uh, they needed a dry climate, so they moved to Arizona. And that's how they got off the show. And then do, it was just the kids. Do you know why? Do you do you know why that happened? It, the uh, there was actually this big to do where the actors thought that JJ was getting all of the. Uh, Screen time and how he was becoming a little, he was becoming yeah. a little bit too much like, you know, this sort of black who you know step and fetch step it. and fetch guy and they wanted the the actors wanted a lot more social messages about yeah. the black community yeah so they went on this sort of strike and the show was off for a little bit and then it was back on and the, I guess the father never returned yeah they was got that Norman Lear it was right yeah figures that he would uh, you know I mean I think he. Whatever, he's kind of an annoying liberal. They got rid of John Amos. He left, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, he left. Okay, he was the best actor crap. there. My mother was uh, actually Junior? a good actress. She was yeah. great. She was a respectable actress. That big fucking inner tube but around my, her neck. My, yeah. my, <laughs> how, let me ask. Fat neck. Was that a three bedroom projects? Do they uh, even have those? Do those exist? Three bedroom yeah, projects? I think it was. Really? Three so, bedroom, right? Yeah, JJ and. Uh, no, no, no. JJ and. Uh, uh, the other bro- Michael slept out on the pullout sofa. Oh, they both. Uh, so it was a Remember? two bedroom. Yeah. Two bedroom, and yeah. then the parents, and then uh, Wallona. Or uh, what's her name? Wallona. No, Thelma. The, the Thelma, Thelma had her own room. Didn't JJ get engaged, and the ch- the chick was on heroin and jumped out the window or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was some, every chick that JJ got involved with was either stealing, <laughs> junkie, or a junkie, or a drunk. There was always a problem with her Did in she the die? projects. <laughs> yeah, oh, she so did something. Okay. Yeah, and you see Thelma. They actually hit, she was in Hustler, I think. Yeah, yeah, years oh, ago. She's yeah. fucking smoking. She was she? Naked. Yeah, she? On the Pull her yeah. nude pictures. Yeah, of, I'd love to see her Thelma naked. What a she's body great. she has. Except for that too. mole on the side of her head. That Who I cared? Be, oh, I hate that. That had to be shot risen. off. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Fuck, you remember JJ got shot by Mad Dog? Kissing her. Mad Dog shot him. Hey there, yeah. Mikey. Yeah. Somebody got shot? That was what JJ said. Yeah. JJ. The father's a two part episode. Of course it was. And then fucking the father in his awful coat. Wanted to fucking uh, wanted wanted to to kill after. him. Oh, yeah. I like when they went to, um, uh, uh, he was supposed to get some job, uh, James. He was been out of work. He got laid off, and he went for an interview, and uh, it looked like a shoe-in to get the job. So they took all the rent money that they had and threw a big party. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about being, uh, uh, you know, N-word rich. <laughs> they, they took the rent money and everything. That they had together, they could barely pay the bills. They couldn't even pay all the bills, but they took all that money because James had a new job with a big raise. We getting out of the projects, uh, Florida. Maybe you'd get James. out. Of, maybe you get out of the projects if you didn't spend the rent money on yeah. shit, stupid. So they threw this big party, and then uh, James comes home and says he didn't get the job, and they blew all the money. So <laughs> I think every white person watching said, uh, "Stupid fucking," <laughs> you know, and then. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have my beef up. I uh, I will say though, it was a great theme song. Yeah, well, very memorable. Yeah. Good, good artwork too. Keeping your head above water. An interesting fact is Janet Dubois, who sang, oh. 
who was Walona, also sang the theme song from the Jeffersons. No, she did. She most certainly did. And my grandmother used to hate when I would talk over the theme song from the Jeffersons because she liked it. And she would go, once a week I get to see this program and you have to talk over the song. <laughs> <laughs> you are a fucking scumbag. That's great, though. Good she for, hated it. Good for you. She hated it. Fuck that. Exactly. You irrelevant old lady, be quiet. Well, we're moving on up. She liked yeah. it. It was a happy song. In her. Yeah. yeah. And what would you say? I hey, Grandma! Just talk. I wouldn't just shut up. It's like, shut up! I'm listening to this. stupid. Jimmy, I'm listening to this. I don't like the... this song. I get once a week to watch this program and hear the music. Let me listen. Stop tapping your privileged white feet together. <laughs> <laughs> they got a piece of the pie. Shh. I like this part. She used to love this part. <laughs> Not when little Jimmy was watching it, she didn't. Because I'd yip and yap right through it. <laughs> he wouldn't shut up. I would just a fuck until the fucking song was over. Then I was a church bouse. <laughs> <laughs> Silent as a fucking toad. And here it comes back. Moving on up. She said there with her dumb Afghans. I'm probably criticizing where her teeth clicked when she chewed. Wasn't this the uh, <laughs> Wasn't this the final song that was played at Opie's wedding? <laughs> the gospel singers up top. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find they, any nude pictures of her. I don't think she ever did pose. She did. No, I see. I, I, I think seen she, her, did. Yeah, she did. She did.